What's going on YouTube, Bob Mans here. Welcome back to more of Vampire Walks I'm doing. I hope you've enjoyed it so far as much as I have. It's actually been quite a fun game to do. A little bit stressful here in parts, but other than that, it's alright. Good story to it. And it's very compelling, making me want to play it a lot. Oh, I need I need food, so I need to uh, eat some one, so to speak. Oh, it's safe as I don't know, I can do my upgrades. Uh, where's my uh, workshop thing? There you are. Try and upgrade my weapon if I can. Don't think I can, nah. Oh, that's what I need to buy them, so I need to find someone who has the things I need. Oh, I can have one at a time of them. Oh, that's stupid. Obviously, there's me just wasting stuff on it. And I can't have one. Okay. I see the open door. Um, I want to do my stamina, that's what I want to do with my stamina. Quite a bit. I'll, I might put it to uh, that one, that one, and this one. Do that. There you go, that one there. What's that there? Oh, that's... oh yeah. Ah, oh. what I wanted to do actually as well. Two thousand. Ooh, that's a lot. Following night. So who's dead? Who's died? Who's been killed? Who's been turned?
I'm almost died then. Let's go. I'm coming back still halfway, that's one thing. Oh, what? I'm actually about to go swimming around because I can probably sort some of this stuff out. That place is completely dead. They both turned already. I haven't been to that district too much. I don't really know anyone there. I'll go there eventually, will I? Will I? So. I have this thirst for blood. Believe I'm doing this. So I kind of want to go back to the hospital. So where's my mission? No, there. So what happened? Just, just, just keep doing that. I don't know what she's doing. I don't want to see that mark, honest. The vent is left here. Vent leg Ashbury, so that's what I need to get there. But it keeps doing that. Oh, let's head there anyway. Oh, that's the quickest way to get there. Straight across, and then that way. Okay. Back up. I have this thirst for blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. Will you just tell me? Come over and get the Back at the dock. <sighs> oh, I'm back here, aren't I? Oh, 
I'm going out like that. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones. Just Let's so try. you remember it. Tell me about the man you killed, Booth. What happened? One of us had been killed, so we had to retaliate. That's the whole story. There has to be more to it than that. No, really. One of us got killed, so the killer had to die. That's how things have always been done round here. No one gives a shit. Don't you see it's an endless spiral? One day, it will be you who will be stabbed. Or shot. Or worse. That's what my sweet Edwina always says, that one day I'll get it too. But she says it with the most beautiful smile, my Edwina. Have you heard anything about Sean Hampton's shelter? It used to be a safe place. I'm not sure that's the case anymore. Are you some kind of vigilante patrolling these streets at night? Something like that, but the police aren't in charge here. We are, see? So you're a concerned criminal, is that it? Using funny jokes about me and my boys, are you? Fuck. You must have some balls. I saw many men like you during the war, Mr. Digby. Greedy little cockroaches who feed on despair. I could kill you for saying that. But, nah. You've been a soldier, I can respect that. Pussy. So, tell me about your gang, then. What? Have you got a death wish? You really want me to answer that? Well, yes. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? Oi! I'm the boss, all right? The wet boot boys work for me. All of them. Situation round here is better than other districts because of us. Because of me. What can you tell me about this part of town? Things ain't that bad, thanks to us. We give people what they need, and we control this borough. Well, you're not doing a very good job. People are still dying here, like everywhere else. Yeah, well, we can't be everywhere all the time. And Edwina says if we can find more guns, we could be more efficient. More efficient? Really? You should probably tell Edwina that guns are useless against diseases and infections. Incredible. You know what? You're lucky she can't hear you right now. She's more smart than patient. My sweet queen of the docks. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. You again. What do you want? Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? Booth Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she needs. For once. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. What is it, Doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. I'm not that easily shocked, Miss Cox. You can speak freely about your lover, if you so wish. The poor bastard is good to me, if you must know. He makes me feel good. And that's a first. So you're just like any other couple, after all, are you not? Yeah, we're so ordinary that I'd put a bullet in his head if he ever cheated on me. <laughs> Have you got any news about Sean Hampton's shelter? Rumor has it he's died some sort of gang of his own. Soldiers of Christ, something like that.
can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Oh, that takes 47 my way. Jeez. Uh, what was it I needed? I need to find them out. Full weapons and stuff. Oh, I need, that's what I need. No, I don't, I don't want to sell. Shit. Oh, okay. suspects you to be unfaithful. Edwina's the one who asked to be called Mrs. Cox, even though Clay hadn't touched her for such a long time. You have not answered my question. She's a passionate woman. I've no doubt she'll shoot me down if I ever betray her, but that's not going to happen. I love her as she is. Sweet. Goodbye, Mr. Dick. It's locked, all right. I'm about to get back to where I needed to be. I don't know over there. I did it that way, but why well, the cross the docks actually? The main mission is over there on the right. Right. Christ, he's dead. Well, I thought that I thought that killed him. I thought that um horse would have actually killed him. Mission just in there. Twenty nine Pretty Orchard Street. This is it. What's in there for me? There's been a fight here. Kidding me.
Oh, blood, yeah. I hope it does that, man. Oh, I'm still tracking a vampire. Okay. This window was shattered with violent force. Someone's been pulled through it and dragged through the street. Who could have done that? I don't freeze me now. Stop right now! Are you deaf? Sir, stop the book lightly! It's on to us! Time you die. Oh, it's fucking things. Oh, am I back at the hospital? Oh, I am as well. Sweet. Why didn't they get across? I cannot enter. We are not in the middle of a battlefield anymore. Catches, catches with Anders. How can I be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again? I promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. For God's sake, how can you say such a thing? 
How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you for so long. No, I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Your son lied to you, like the whole world lies to us. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Fucking eat him now, I want to. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm afraid I do. Like everyone in this hospital. It's a sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers are worried about disease. Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in being ill while you're in a hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't fall sick often. But thanks, anyway. Goodbye, Welcome. Milton. Well, he should be recovering now. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Is there anything else that's bothering you? Can I help in any way? Really? Why has no one else asked me that since I got here? I thought I was in a hospital. Unfortunately, you are not the only person who needs help. And complaining about it won't do you any good. Well, perhaps you're right, Dr. Reed. I'm sure if me missus was still alive, she wouldn't be happy with me going on like this. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. Sweet girl. I want to eat some more. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Admit it, Mortimer. Your mother had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes, it's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call this progress? Call it what you want, Dr. Reed. You can trust me. I won't report you to the authorities. My one and only concern is your health. I guess I should thank you, then. Can I help you in any way, Mr. Goswick? I wrote a letter for my mother. She was supposed to read it after... after my death. But... I suppose she doesn't have to read it now. I see. And is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life? Yes. And I don't want anyone reading my last words. I mean, I'm still here. If you bring me back that letter, then... Perhaps we'll talk. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Your son wished to die, Beatrice. Why did you hide such crucial information? Are you not aware suicide is a crime? Mortimer could be thrown in jail. I can't let that happen. I won't. I understand you fear the legal consequences, Mrs. Goswick. But don't you realize your silence significantly affects your son's case? All my son needs is help and comprehension. Not judgment and punishment for what he may or may not have done. Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude. Oh, yeah, 
And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. I need to eat some water. Uh... I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Oh, you don't need to have medicine. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. There's a bit of air. Uh, someone. We may lack the resources, but we have some of the most brilliant minds in London at Pembroke. Looking for Rakesh. Where is Rakesh? Oh, that's why I am there. Am I here then? It's locked, all right. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Do you need medical attention? Well, the proximity of the dead is not the most healthy company, even if the quiet can be appreciated. Don't take too many risks with your health, Mr. Chidana. None of us are immune to this disease, and that is a good thing. Death and disease is a constant reminder of our... Who do I, uh... Because I need to get my blood and health back up, sir. Thanks, Dr. Reed. Who do I... <laughs> Eat, Good so to speak. Who gets it? Who's gonna die? Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Why need your blood, sir? You're coming with me. Probably shouldn't do this, man. Probably gonna have bad uh, consequences, but. Why kill me, brother? We could have ruled this land together. You are no vampire, so. Okay for what? I need XP though. He ain't even worth the XP though. Twenty. Ooh. It is good to see you again, Jonathan. How are you? I'm better than one might expect, Lady Ashbury. Doctor Swansea has asked me to investigate the recent disturbances in the hospital caused by skulls. 
Really? What do you mean? I discovered the most intriguing skull. An elderly woman answering to the name of old Bridget. And a man who helps them remain hidden in London. Old Bridget? Peculiar name. I've never heard of her. According to old Bridget, skulls can lead a peaceful existence like us. They are even able to nourish themselves by feeding on corpses and the flesh of the dead. How vile. Please, Jonathan, let's change the subject. Skulls of London have gone into hiding. Both mortals and immortals plot their extermination. Yes. Skulls are the orphans of the vampire society. They are the shame of their genitors. A disgrace to the vampire that created them. There is something ominous closing around me, Lady Ashbury. Something spies upon me from the shadows. Something cruel and wicked. Whatever do you mean, Jonathan? suspect someone. I don't know, Jonathan. I steer clear of vampire politics, especially whilst hunters roam the city's streets. If Sean Hampton and Harriet were not the guilty parties, then who? I saw the bodies and the blood. Your rebirth has not gone unnoticed, Jonathan. Be extremely careful. If you get in the way of an immortal's plans, Goodbye for now, my lady. Uh. Uh. This city is more peaceful without the bomb. Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. You're doing your rounds as usual. That's what you can tell me. I need, I need XP, so I need to uh, get stronger. You get a lot of XP out of this one, so. I'm getting uh, careless of killing that moment, so oh uh, well. He's getting it too. Good evening. Evening, Doctor. Tell me about your true feelings for Newton. I love him. I'm not ashamed to say it. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine life without him. Well, yeah, about to. <laughs> I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, looking death in the face every day. I speak plain. I speak my mind. Have you always been this straightforward? All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer, my only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him, that's all. Why should you be ashamed? I'm not, I said. Newton sees it differently. Newton is conflicted about his feelings towards you. Would you like to talk about it, Oswald? It makes me sad. 
and angry. It feels like the beautiful thing we have is somehow tainted. It hurts to see him so lost. His love for you is genuine. I'm certain he wasn't lying to me when he expressed his feelings for you. Newton still has to accept it, knowing he'll be seen as a queer, a fairy, less than a man in those simple-minded bigots' eyes. Though he's more of a man than they'll ever be, so fuck them all. Oswald, tell me about what happened when you were buried in that tunnel with Newton. It was more than dark. It was black as pitch. Hours seemed like days, and days like months. Oh, the terror, the shameful thoughts. Lord have mercy. Should be enough XP to do some stuff now. I mean, I only killed him because he's Newton. Don't be sorry. I'm surprised it has gone off. And we will be serene, beautiful. No gun. I was gonna say I only killed the other one because the XP. I... Yeah, then I only killed him because the other one said avenge him. So, probably gonna regret doing that, but it's got to evolve and face the consequences, isn't it? Up in the office. I could quite to kill everyone in there. <laughs> Because I'm gonna happen. Right. Um. What was I gonna do? What? Yeah, what was I gonna do actually? Keep back up. What kind of thing might happen? Probably not. I killed like three people, so.
Am I just missing? <laughs> Not much serious consequences really. Oh, serious. Uh, okay. The flower's dying. It needs water. Can heal her then. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doctor Reed. Do you need medical help yourself, Nurse? I'm afraid I've contracted some illness, Doctor Reed. Not under my watch, nurse. Take this. You'll feel better. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Are you recovering? I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often. But I just help fucking kill you, sir. That's my spec. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Do you require medical assistance, Nurse? I will be fine, as soon as I can get some sleep. Ah. Oh. I got any of that left. I will see you later, Nurse. Goodbye, Nurse. Call me if you need assistance. I'll take us to Absalom, that's a good one. Uh, recovering. Well, I should stay to it now to get all in it or not. Uh, what is she thinking with? Ah, oh, same as her. Okay.
What's back to it then? I need to do this now, so trap that. I need to trap the vampire. by leeches playing a nasty game. Close down, wasn't it? The marks on this woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. Only a golden watch in her pockets. Not set the watch. <laughs> this is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. Well, they're taunting you. Her shoes and clothes are quite worn out. I see you. Who was that? Right then. It's a sick game. But given no choice in the matter, I might as well fight. I have this. First. For blood. I wonder if it's do that one, just thingy. That one's a day. you escape. You're very fast, but I'll catch you. They've all been butchered.
What the hell happened there? I can still sense a presence. Guess I'm gonna find out. Believe I'm doing this. My son was gone. Come to me. Someone's gone in the kidney frenzy over here. Someone's eyes upon my neck. God help, please help me. You, what have you done? Vicar Larrabee, what happened? Demon, hell scourge, son of perdition. Vicar, Vicar, <laughs> Jonathan is no demon. He's just a loving son, returned from the dead. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary, it has been you all Your sister. Oh, it's me, all right, precious brother. Why did you lure me here? I didn't see that coming. gathering the family for a final reunion, all smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother? Say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. Mary, let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. This nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Right then. Speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery, grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were, in front of me, on a dark pier. It was the hunger. You know it now as well. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy, to tell me all would be well again. As you did when we were children. It was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug a tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth. Mary. I had taken your life before I realized it was you. I tried to kill myself. Mm. But you failed in your attempt. We cannot die, can we? We are a plague. I've watched you, Jonathan. You pull the strings and sever them. I've done what I had to do. I did not choose this fate. But I will have my answers. <sighs> There are no answers, Doctor. There's nothing left but pain and lies and treachery. Mary, wait! Time to go, Mother. Give my regards to my son. No! 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 So that come in. Cherish. 
Can you imagine what I have in mind for you? I'll destroy you! Finally, we hear the truth! Dr. Reed, admit it. You're a monster who takes joy in killing, who relishes the chase, the secrecy of it all. I'm still a scientist. I shall find a cure for this madness. You lie to yourself. Confess your sins. Over the slaughtered corpse of our mother! Are those tears, brother dear? Your heart still bleeds with emotion. My dead heart has dried. <laughs> you are mad. Oh, so that's what I am, Doctor. Mad? I was beginning to wonder. I've been hearing voices, one in particular. That of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not for your betrayal. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No. It's so that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my head. I cannot let you kill again, Mary. <laughs> time to die, brother. So who turned to them? And this time for good. You left me to rot in this grave. Your mother, see, didn't it? Give me your blood, priest. Oh, fuck. Final thoughts are just to die for. Why is that power? You left me to rest in peace, monster. Kiss me again. 
Oh man, that fucking thing is deadly. I wish I should eat the vicar before she does. Who's you here, for him? Turn you, Bob, Mr. Edwin. He doesn't know what's in those crane? Oh, okay. I thought it, the mind control was successful. Oh, okay. Alright. First, you want to start by killing him. You don't kill train. him, she will. And it'll just give her help. A lot. Revel in your true nature.
You killed me, brother! Come to me, Jonathan. Actually, like, if I've got full health, I will throw whatever and claw things in for good measure. What have you done? Kitten Slayer! Ah! So you want to get half done about halfway, you don't lock on at all until she's doing this. Yep. And she does the red is like you just wanna unlock like that. And then run away. At all times until she's actually like trying to hit you. And there's no red stuff. But about three quarters away is when the red stuff is pretty much constant. Anyway, but she's getting angrier. Kiss me again, sweet brother. Right, this is where you wanna Let's see, just doing that now, this is where you wanna do what I'm doing now and just run like this. Don't lock onto her until she's actually trying to attack you like that. When there's no red stuff, just do this. Take your time. Evade the red thing. What that's meant to be. Yeah, stamina's gone down. Right, unlock. Alright, come on, stamina up you get up. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Imagine doing this on a massive keyboard. That'd be difficult. <laughs> and we'll rest off. Good, perfect. Keep resisting everyone that attacks now. Come to me, 
Yeah, I got one in. Another one. Kiss me again, brother. It's once she mentions how I spared that guy's life, is when she gets angrier. And you have to really watch out what you, what you do. Because the red stuff is pretty much constant at that point. What have you done? Oh, come on, man. One more, I get a bite. Rest in peace. Oh, well, I'm not even near that thing. Yeah, it resisted. Come to me, Jonathan. Fuck's sake, it's red shit again. Oh, this is where this is a bit I was on about. Don't expect the same mercy from me. This time. I don't think I've actually get past this bit. <laughs> Just keep doing this till I find the opening to attack. Come Not. to me, Jonathan. Yeah. Fuck me, see what I mean? One mistake and look how much my health got down. Stupid this bit really is just daft. I haven't got a clue how to get past this bit. This is the bit I always get stuck on because it's just you can't hit her because the red thing's constant. I'm going to get one hit in at that time, but I will cost half my health. <laughs> Fuck me. I got another hit in. I'm dying because I've got no stamina. And I did. Let's do it still when half gets up. Done. Hang on, what have I got? Have I got anything I can use for health? Nope. 
Oh, I haven't got anything. One half, but generally because I won't last two seconds, like one hit is gonna kill me. I'm from a red or her. me I ain't got a clue what I'm meant to do here because the red thing is constant and I can't exactly stop and fight her red thing going off all the time I just get three hits in her maybe got no stamina Stamina, come on, before I die. Oh, one hit on the then. I need health, like two more hits and on, I get to bite her for health, so. Oh, look at my health now. Fuck. Oh, shit. Come on, health. Please. What? Now that is just bull. Wow, that ain't right, man. I didn't need to repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. I've decided to um, my oh, face, yeah. I've decided to um, not fight her yet because I don't think my character is that strong enough to do that yet. So I'm gonna um, go back to that when I'm strong enough. Oh, 
Joker isn't dead. Right now, I need to get my character strong enough to a point where I can take her on. That means killing a few people. So be it. Yeah, dead. I just killed him. <laughs> so he actually joined the um, gang thing again. It's because I killed his son actually as well. So far, I did kill his son. That's why he joined the gang. Probably thought he had nothing else to live for. <laughs> I just need to um, stop her now. At some point. Half these people have died anyway because I didn't stop Nurse Crane when I had the chance. I just need to go on a killing spree and kill whoever I can find. So I can, uh, preferably humans. So I can actually level my character up. Any other bonus missions that I can do just to level up a little bit? Uh, I've got a hideout over there. Oh, I'm in the hospital actually. Send this in this way. Is that, is that my way? Yeah. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back a bit, aren't I? So I need to go around the front of the hospital. I could go through, oh, I should go through here. Question is, who can I kill? Well, it gives me a decent amount of XP. I don't want to kill too many people, why? I might need them, but. Can I uh, mesmerize him yet? Good evening, Dr. Reed. 
Such a pleasure to see you again. Nah, I'll... Do you need medical attention? I'm feeling all right, doctor. But perhaps it is because I, too, am used to the smell of the dead. Goodbye, Mr. Chidana. I mean, don't worry, I'm not giving up on fighting Mary, but I just know my character's not strong enough. I've been in that fight for a while now. So I'm not going to show all my deaths in the videos, no point, but... I need to, um... Get my character stronger before I can actually take her on, because... I mean, my health and everything's fine, my stamina's fine, it's just... I think I might need to upgrade my weapon a bit more as well. Do a bit more damage per, like, per hit. I'm going to that. Okay, I can cure someone's fatigue. How much I bet actually got one. I mean, that might come out if I stun now, so I can get a few more bites on that, but. I mean, a shotgun doesn't do much. Is that it's, it, that's the best pistol? But I need more bullets, so it's just little things that I need to do to get, make my character stronger before I actually fight her. Um, what can I do enough now? Don't. I'm not giving up on fighting her. I just think I might be better better suited to find more powers and what else that I can do. I mean, look, my powers here, for example, I've only upgraded that once. Like, I've been focusing that much on my stamina and my health, as you can see. But I've neglected a lot of other things and my blood stuff. I've been, uh, my bite, I've, I've focused on. I've focused too much on this lot here. But I've neglected double stuff. I mean, look. Now that will come, come in a lot in handy. I'll have to wait this. I should have a five. A phone. Evolve. I follow in night. Anyone dead? I'm back in there. Yeah. Yeah, I killed them too. I killed him. I killed her. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go kill her now. And I've got a cold.
Oh, he's missing. I mean, I'd like to kill her, because the XP I get from if I kill her. <laughs> So I think my next couple of videos will probably just me leveling up my character and doing little things instead of doing the main story mode. I think. The flower's dying. It needs water. I'm doing what it's I generally doing what I can to level up my character. Else. It's locked, all right. Oh, I can craft and miss. Sweet, so I need to cast off the fatigue. I craft now, I'm just forgetting all that. Okay, I just craft more of these now. I can pretty much cure everyone of fatigue now in the hospital. Medical attention, dear colleague. I have yeah. been confused if anyone other than you had asked that question, Doctor Reed. But your help is welcomed. No, I haven't got him. I will Sorry, see you later. Goodbye, Doctor Strickland. Uh, I can. I can help her. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Do you require medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? No. I don't feel well, actually. Despite what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this will help you recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Okay, goodbye. Nice to Thank you, her fatigue. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Do you require medical assistance, Nurse? I will be fine as soon as I can get some sleep. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this. And do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. Still trying to save lives. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Already? I don't even No, it's not shotgun bullets, isn't it? Actually, it's. That. No, I don't want to sell. I want to buy. Good evening, Dr. Tibbetts. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Do you need any medical assistance yourself, Doctor? Yes, indeed. But don't worry, I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself. I can actually clean actually. I will see you later. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. How much XP is he worth? I know it's only level two, isn't he? I'll come back to my office in a minute so I can make any cold stuff. Yeah, sure, I could kill the entire hospital if I wanted to, but it wouldn't be enough to do what I need to do. Oh. Is he going to send me to go away or what? No. Jonathan, at last. I've been worried sick. Have you solved the case of our poor Sean Hampton? Don't worry, Edgar. The reputation of Pembroke Hospital is secure. Sean Hampton was not the guilty party. Is that true? Oh, good news. Good news indeed. I found Harriet Jones. She's much the same old embittered woman she was, only she's been made a scowl. Her transformation did not go well. Incredible. Why not bring her here? We could learn so much by studying her condition. It would be fascinating. I doubt that. She can barely move. Perhaps we could learn more about the degeneration of skulls. Perhaps. But she could also belong to a new species. We know so little of the laws that dictate vampire reproduction. Were there any studies made by your order on the subject? Uh, not that I'm aware of. 
I will transmit your discovery to the Brotherhood's primate. He will be delighted. What do you know of the Ascalon Club? Uh, not as much as I would like. There have always been rumors about a secret society of vampires operating in the interests of the British Empire. Though I've never met a member. I crossed paths with one. A terrifying creature going by the name of Fergal. He was sent by the Ascalon Club to exterminate the Skulls of the East End. By the stole, Jonathan. If vampires are eliminating their own progeny, then dark times are upon us. Darker than I've ever witnessed. Do you think Lady Ashbury would know of them? Jonathan, our beloved lady is not one for social dalliances, nor the assemblies of dark orders. She's a woman of superior taste and selective acquaintance. Question, guys, for us watching this video. If you could become a vampire, would you? Does the name Old Bridget ring any bells? I'd never heard of her. Why? A patient of ours? I must confess, I don't know them all. No, it's just someone I recently met. A fascinating woman. I had thought that perhaps... By the stole, Jonathan, you've met another vampire. I would appreciate an introduction, if that's the case. A pleasure as always, Edgar. So I can go and make any uh, more. That's my office, 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 office. Oh yeah, over. Let's go see if I can make any more um, medicine. I need to make one for headaches. Oh, how meant to cure a headache? Let me not. I have to kill some of a headache <laughs> just to fucking find a thing for it. Guys, I think we'll leave it for today. I hope you enjoyed the entertaining. I can't get words that entertaining video. I will be going back to, to fight Mary at some point, but for now, my character's nowhere near strong enough to take her on. I want to find a way to better my character. So the next couple of videos will probably just me, um, but trying to find a ways to better my character. Basically, for now, I'm not strong enough to do it. I mean, I could probably do it. I can get it down, as you can see in the, in the battles. I can get it down to a point. But then, once I get to that point, if the red thing is constant, and I've got no defense against that, and it's just it's just too hard at a point then. But I will get through it, guys. You know me. I won't give up on it. I'll go back to it here and there to try and do it. But for now, I'm just going to find ways to better my character. Anyway, guys, take care. If you enjoy my videos, please like a bloat, and don't forget to click the notification bell. Peace out guys, take care. In a bit.